Scudders for our first race. Our second card of the day underway. We have Cole J. Commando, John Davidson, Little Comanche, Mark Grant, Camco Ross, and Owen Davies. Fastest can be in Mark Hag, Bob's birthday, and Jill Berrio. Five across the gate. Race one, sponsored by OHA. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Cam Ross steps out, takes the lead. Then on the outside, Bob's birthday. Gets away, racing in second around the turn. On the inside, though, is Cole J. Commando, and he's second. Bob's birthday is rolled off. And he's off striding on the run. Back pacing, though, and racing back in third. That's Little Comanche. Fourth, fastest can be. And trailing fifth, Bob's birthday. And again, he's back on the pace, but trailing as they race single file. And Owen Davies as the big Camco Russ pointed on the lead by that opening quarter in 30 and 2. Camco Russ. Then racing second in the pocket trip, Cole J. Commando. Racing back in third and closing in. And looking to make a move, Little Comanche. Then fastest can be. And trailing the field at the back of the pack is still Bob's birthday. Three eights in. Off the turn through the stretch to the half. Cam Co. Ross in controlling order here. Gold J. Commando second. Here comes fastest can be. On the outside, driving up from third. By the half and one, no one and four. Then it's back to Little Comanche in fourth and trailing fifth, Bob's birthday. As they race on to the five eights, Cam Ross on the outside, fastest Cam B at his wheel now on the outside, driving second, racing third, Cole J. Commando. Then fourth, Little Comanche and Bob's birthday trails. Cam Ross still has it, fastest Cam B on the outside, second. They were by the three quarters neck and neck three quarters one 32 and four cam co ross fastest can be on the outside second then right there third cole j commando just needs some room little comanche's gonna try it three wide now and trailing the field bob's birthday and eighth to go cam co ross it's cam co ross cole j commando comes out of the pocket there in deep stretch cam co ross has enough left and he's gonna win it cam co ross in for second was Cole J. Commando, Little Comanche, then fastest can be in Bob's birthday. Camco Russ takes the first. Time for the mile, 202 and four. Camco Russ. Printing back to the winner circle, winner of race number one, sponsored by the Ontario Horsemen's, or Harness Horsemen's Association. Three, Cam Ross, a five-year-old son of drop-off. Out of the Paris Dexter mare, Dexter's wine, Omic Catherine Davies. Trained and driven by Owen Davies, Cam Ross scores his third win from eight starts this season and receives the nice cooler donated by the Ontario Harness Horsemen's Association. Cam Ross takes the first, mile and two, oh, two and four. Cam Ross. And the Stutters for our second race, sponsored by the Peck Corral in behind the gate. Field of eight. J.K. Down, Steve Mason, Camco Mario, Gilles Berrio, Putnam's Jewel, and Al Jones. Northwind Charm, Mike Campbell. Kane Rise again, Wayne Watson, Miss Mimi, John Davidson. Manard Amity and Paul Bro. And the outside goes to All-American Dazzle and Todd Trites. Eight across the gate, race number two. Sponsored by the Pet Corral. Here they come. They are off and pacing and to the inside. J.K. down going for it. Then Camco Mario gets away second on the outside third. And rushing on, that's Putnam's Jewel. Manard Amity is parked on the outside early and driving on from fourth. Then it's Northwind Charm on the inside fifth. Racing six, All-American Dazzle. And it's back to Kane Rise again. And trailing the field, Miss Mimi, as they make their way to the opening quarter. And that's Putnam's Jewel on the outside going up to take over. And the Philly now grabs the lead. Racing second, J.K. down 30.
30 and 1 opener. Then back in third, Camco Mario and Manard Amity. She's a favorite on the board, but she's parked. Then Northwind Charm, All American Dazzle comes out to move from six. Kane Rise again, seventh. And trailing the field, Miss Mimi, three eighths of the mile in. And off the turn through the stretch. Racing to the half, led by Putnam's Jewel. Racing second, J.K. down. Outside, Manard Amity still third. Camco Mario, then All-American Dazzle, the half, 101 and 1. Then it's back to Northwind Charm. Kane Rise again, has to do it from seventh. And trailing the field, Miss Mimi as they drive on to the 5 8 and still led by Putnam's Jewel. Manard Amity not going away. And she's driving hard second. J.K. down third. There goes Kane Rise again on the outside, tipping out three wide. And now gets to fourth All-American Dazzle. Camco Mario. And they're a bunch field. And it's back to Northwind Charm. Miss Mimi goes to the outside by the three quarters. One, 32 and four. As they round the turn for the drive home. And the backfield is quickly coming. And they're coming fast as Miss Mimi Tips out three wide. Kane Rise again is there, but up top still Putnam's Jewel. J.K. down, plucks from the pocket, and is coming on. Putnam's Jewel, J.K. down, tight at the wire, and All-American Dazzle for third. And too tight to call to win. J.K. down, Putnam's Jewel, Dazzle for third. Time for the mile. 2.03 and a 2. 2.03 and 2 in the second. Back to the winner's circle, winner of race number two, sponsored by the Pecquerel. Going to one, J.K. Down, a three-year-old daughter of race in Hanover. Out of the happy Pesek mare, first Pesek. All by the Downey Stables, trained and driven by Steve Mason. And J.K. Down picks up her second win. And the mile, 2.03 and 2. J.K. Down, Steve Mason captures race two, sponsored by the Pecquerel. And the Stutters four, race number three behind the gate. We have Casimir Freedom and Bob Craft, Dillinger's Lady, Gilles Dario. Megan L. Down, Steve Mason, Memories of Love, Ed Harvey. Money Hustler and Wayne Watson, Elm Grove Bandit, Lonnie Stokes tuned in, and Sam Hodgen. Gives us seven across the gate this time around, race three. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Good start in here. Busting out for the lead on the inside. Casimir Freedom. He takes it around the first turn. Casimir Freedom. Dillinger's Lady gets away second. Memories of Love on the outside driving third. Then Megan L down fourth. Money Hustler drops into fifth. And racing six Elm Grove Bandit. And trailing the field up the back stretch is tuned in as they make their way to the opening quarter. Casimir Freedom on the lead. Memories of Love on the outside getting Park second. Dillinger's Lady is right there on the inside. Third and even panel. 30 seconds flat. Then racing fourth, gapped out a bit as Megan L down. Then gapped out further is Money Hustler. And it's back to the two trailers, Elm Grove Bandit. And trailing the field tuned in. And Memories of Love getting the park job here. Casimir Freedom on the lead. Memories of Love. Dillinger's Lady kept her out there driving. And she sits in third. Megan L down now out to move from fourth. And Money Hustler on the move as well. Fifth, the half and a minute flat. Elm Grove Bandit six and tuned in trails. Again, the half in one minute flat around the paddock turn and on to the 5 8 pole, still led by Casimir Freedom. Racing second on the outside. Memories of Love, Dillinger's Lady has had a great trip on the inside. There goes Megan L down on the outside, tipping out three wide and driving on. Now third, Dillinger's Lady back to second. Memories of Love starts to tire fourth. Then Elm Grove Bandit a bit rough on the outside. Money Hustler and trailing the field tuned in. 
three quarters, 131 and two. It's Casimir Freedom looking to go gate to wire. Dillinger's Lady back to second, Megan L down third, an eighth of a mile to go now, and it's all Casimir Freedom. Casimir Freedom, then Dillinger's Lady and Megan L down battling, but it's gonna be Casimir Freedom just hanging on. Megan L down lunged at the last moment, but couldn't get there. And for third, Dillinger's Lady. Time for the mile. Best, and First win of the year, 201 and three. 201 and three. Casimir Freedom. Back to the winner circle, the winner of race number three, sponsored by Standard Bread Canada. The one Casimir Freedom, a four-year-old gelded son of Twin B champ of the Abercrombie mare, Paris Stores. Owned and trained by Robert Kraft. He does the driving. And the four-year-old picking up his first win of the season. And today, 201 and 3. The mile 201 and 3 in the standard bred Canada Pace for number one, Casimir Freedom. And Robert Kraft delivering here as the post-time favorite, going off at $2.60. He wins the standard break Canada pace. Top of the stretch now for the fourth race. Cocan Rebel, Jerry Gallant, Port Hill Digger, and Jill Barrio. Big V, Todd Trites. I got a rocket and Mike Campbell, Diamond Hard, Robert Kraft, and Bryden, and Sam Hodgen. Field of six across the gate, the fourth race of our second card. Six across, race four. Here they come. They're off and pacing Big V out for the lead. Port Hill Digger on the inside digging in and going for it around the first turn. Port Hill Digger leading. Big V is racing second and he takes a back seat now. Then getting away third, Cocan Rebel. Then fourth, I got a rocket. Bryden sits back early in fifth. And trailing six, Diamond Hard up the backside on way to the opening quarter they go. And the post-time favorite is Port Hill Digger. And he's on top. Big V is racing second. Then racing back in third, Cocan Rebel is closing the gap nicely. Then I got a rocket back in fourth, 29 and one opener. Bryden gets in fifth and trailing six, Diamond Hard. Single file, but I got a rocket is making a move from fourth for Mike Campbell. As the field drives to the three eights, Port Hill Digger on the lead. Then in the pocket second, Big V. I got a rocket on the outside, driving up quickly, and I got a rocket going for the lead. Port Hill Digger on the inside, but now I got a rocket. Rockets to the front for Mike Campbell, and moves out by three. By the half in a minute, and two fifths around the turn. I got a rocket cut loose, and he's on top by about four and a half. Racing second is Port Hill Digger. Big V racing back in third, Bright and fourth, then racing fifth, Cocan Rebel, and trailing six, Diamond Hard, onto the three quarters they go, and it's all, I got a rocket, he took the lead at the half, and he is in full control, Big V is racing second, three quarters, 130, and one, and it's I got a rocket still out by about seven. Big V second, Bryden has now come to third. Cocan Rebel fourth, Port Hill Digger all done. And on the outside, Diamond Hard now comes to fifth, an eighth to go, and it's all I got a rocket. I got a rocket, Bryden on the outside, Big V, but it's going to be all I got a rocket on cruise control here. And he wins it. I got a rocket, Bryden second, and Big V third. Time for the mile for I got a rocket. Two minutes and a two fists. I got a rocket. Back to the winner circle, winner of race number four. Number four, I got a rocket. Five year old son of Liz Ryan out of the in the pocket mare, Sac Raposi. All by Mike Campbell, Peter Clark. Mike does the training and the driving of the five year old. He scores his 12th career win and his second of the season. Two minutes and a two fists. I got a rocket, Mike Campbell, here in the fourth.
And the starters for the first elimination of the Brian Moore Memorial Claiming Series. Top of the stretch, Tisha's Pit Pony and Todd Trites. In gals, John Davidson, Julia Down, Steve Mason. J.R. Blue Chip, Mark Hag, Etoile D.H., Anna Gilberio, R.G. and D., John Stewart, Rosalie Seelster, Owen Davies, Emerald Corker, Sam Hodgen. Eight across, and here they come. They are off and pacing. Tisha's Pit Pony goes to a break, leaving. In Gals now takes a lead. Julia down on the outside of her. Gets away racing in the second. Everybody by the breaking horse, okay. Julia down second. Back to third. J.R. Blue Chip. Then getting away fourth. Etoile DH. Then it's back to RG Indy. And the two three trailers are Rosalie Seelster, Emerald Corker, and still off stride, Tisha's Pit Pony as they make their way to the opening quarter. And by that marker, it's in Gals, 29 and 4 opener. Moving right along here, and it's your leader on top in Gals, Etoile DH on the outside coming up and makes a first over move, chasing the leader as they tip off the turn. Then JR Blue Chip third, Julia down, now drops to fourth. As they come off the turn, then racing back in fifth, R.G. Indy. Then it's back to Rosalie Seelster and Emerald Corker halfway home, neck and neck for the lead. Etoile D.H. on the outside has cleared the lead. They were by the half, 59 and 2, Etoile D.H. on top. Then racing second in gals on the outside, Julia down. Tracking it now from third, then JR Blue Chip fourth, racing fifth, RG Indy, Rosalie Seelster, Emerald Corker, and Tisha's Pit Pony as they go on to the three quarters. And it's Etoile DH, Julia down now second, then JR Blue Chip on the outside, and he's flying on the outside now third by the three quarters, and they're moving right along here, 130 flat. By the third quarter, Etoile DHJR Blue Chip. Then Julia down on the inside third with an eighth of a mile to go. Etoile DHJR Blue Chip on the outside coming on. JR Blue Chip now. Etoile DH getting tight down to the wire and they're neck and neck. JR Blue Chip wins it. JR Blue Chip. Etoile DH and Julia down. But it's JR Blue Chip. Reigning supreme here in the time for the mile. First win of the year, the mile 201 and four. JR Blue Chip. And the boys are smiling. Back to the winner circle, the winner of the first elimination of the Brian Moore Memorial Claiming Series goes to four J.R. Blue Chip, eight year old son of Do Run Run Bluegrass, out of the RD Stream Mare Snow Dream, owned by Charlene Murray and David Mitchell, trained by John Davidson, Mark Hag up for the steer, and J.R. Blue Chip picks up his first win. In 27 starts this season, he gets rid of the goose egg. And J.R. Blue Chip returns a winner. The mile in 201 and 4. A great trip. J.R. Blue Chip winning the first elimination tonight in the Brian Moore Claiming Series. 201 and 4. And the stutters for the sixth race behind the gate. Approaching the top of the stretch, Jags Raisin and Todd Trites. Everybody loves Raymond, Jill Berrio, Mr. Down East, and Phil Reed. Holiday Moon, Sam Hodgen, Rapid Kane, John Davidson, Bat Boy, John Stewart, Sight Unseen, Mark Campbell, and in Salzburg, Marr, and Stephen Trites. That's your field, race six, eight across the gate. Here they come. They're off and pacing into the top. Holiday Moon going for it and takes it around the first turn. Up on the inside is Jags Raisin. 
And Jags Raisin a bit rough, and so was Holiday Moon, who made a skip and interfering with a couple behind her as they make their way up the back stretch. And confusion there. Everybody by safely, though. And up front, Jags Raisin loose in the lead. The inquiry up, though. Everybody loves Raymond second, Bat Boy third, then racing fourth at the Cones, Mr. Down East. That opening quarter, 29 and 3. Then we go back to Rapid Kane, racing in fifth. Racing six, sight unseen. Then it's Salzbrook Mar and trailing Holiday Moon. And again, we remind you the inquiry sign is up. Jags Raisin on the lead. Leads by two. Everybody loves Raymond is second through the stretch to the half. Then racing third, Bat Boy. Back in fourth, Mr. Down East. Then fifth. Rapid Kane, here comes Sight Unseen out to move. Then it's back to Salzbrook Marr and trailing in the backfield, Holiday Moon 59 and 3. They were over the half. Jags raising everybody loves Raymond is inching up on them. Then racing third, Bat Boy. Mr. Down East is closing in. And Jags Racing looks a bit tired already. And out from second, there goes Everybody Loves Raymond. Jags Raisin on the inside and rough. In second, then racing third on the inside, Bat Boy and Jags Raisin back on top again. 130 and three, Jags Raisin. Then everybody loves Raymond on the outside, a two horse race. Back third, Bat Boy. Then racing fourth, Rapid Kane. Mr. Down East is there with an eighth to go, Jags Raisin. Jags Raisin has rolled off stride, and that's going to give everybody loves Raymond the win here. Everybody loves Raymond, Jags. Jags Raisin, and now second, Mr. Down East and Rapid Kane coming on, but it's Barrio and everybody loves Raymond. Mr. Down East gets the deuce, and for third, Rapid Kane. And the time for the mile, two minutes and three fifths. It's everybody loves Raymond. And back to the winner's circle, winner of race six, number two, Everybody Loves Raymond, a five-year-old gelded son of race in Hanover out of the Gemini Risk Mare, Gemini Goddess. Owned by Eric Wilson of Majorville. Eric does the training. Jill Barrio picks up the catch drive. And the mile, two minutes, and a three-fifths. Everybody Loves Raymond, the mile, two minutes, and a three-fifths. And the starters four. Our seventh race behind the gates. Hallsbrook Dandy, Lonnie Stokes. Cookie Larry goes, Mark Hag. PH Card Shark and Todd Trites. Becoming Jarwa, Wayne Hubbard, MB Anthony Purser, and Gord Hennessy. Victonian Best West, Joe Barrio, Rocket Musical, John Davidson, and Daisy Boy, and Kenny McDonald. Great field, here they come for race seven. They are off and pacing. PH Card Shark going for the lead, becoming Jarwa on the outside, digging in as they race around the turn and becoming Jarwa's got the lead. Then racing second, Salzbrook Dandy, PH Card Shark back in third, and he's out and rolling after the leader. Then Cookie Larry goes, got away in fourth, MB. Anthony Purser sits back in fifth, racing six, Pictonian Best West. Then it's back to Daisy Boy and Rocket Musical Trails. And up front now, PH Card Shark and Trites grabs the lead after an opening quarter, 29 and one. It's PH Card Shark becoming Jarwa, racing second. Salzbrook Dandy third, Cookie Larry goes, and MB Anthony Purser sits back in fifth. Pictonian Best West from sixth. Then the two trailers in the backfield, Rocket Musical and Daisy Boy, through the stretch to the half and led by P.H. Card Shark. Racing second, becoming Jarwa. Third, Salzbrook Dandy. Then M.B. Anthony Purser on the outside, the half, 59 and one around the turn. P.H. Card Shark loose on the lead, becoming Jarwa second. Salzbrook Dandy racing back in third. M.B. Anthony Purser now to fourth. Cookie Larry goes. Then Pictonian Best West on the outside. 
followed up by Daisy Boy and trailing the field. Rocket Musical on to the three quarters they go. PH Card Shark looking to go all the way, and he's on top. He coming Jerwa comes out to move from second. Three quarters one, 29 and four. PH Card Shark becoming Jarwa on the outside, matching strides with him. Salzbrook Dandy back in third, an eighth to go, becoming Jarwa. PH Card Shark on the inside, becoming Jarwa's got it. PH Card Shark, Salzbrook Dandy, gonna be becoming Jarwa. PH Card Shark becoming Jarwa, wins it. Then in for second was PH Card Shark, Salzbrook Dandy, third. Time for the mile for becoming Jarwa. New Lifetime Mark, 158 and 4. New Lifetime Mark, 158 and 4. Becoming Jarwa, 158 and 4. New record. And back to the winner circle. Winner of race 7, the Eldon Kirkpatrick pace for Becoming Jarwa, four year old son of Liz Ryan. Out of the Stargaze Hanover Mares, Van and Star. Owned by Harvey Holm, trained by Lucy St. Amour, Wayne Hubbard in the driver's seat. Becoming Jarwa picks up a new lifetime mark tonight. The mile in one, 58 and four. Beating his previous best by one fifth of a second. And it's Becoming Jarwa winning that exciting stretch duel and getting up to win one, 58 and four. What a trip. Becoming Jarwa. New race record for the four-year-old, 158 and four. Congratulations. And the starters for the second elimination of the Brian Moore Memorial Claiming Series. Behind the gate, my Donna, the claim entered, and Mike Campbell. Don Bryn Master, a claim, two claims entered with John Stewart. Funday Bay, Lonnie Stokes, Driver Like He's Stolen, John Davidson. Rita Sealster, Gord Hennessy, Come On Scoot, Wayne Watson. So Rosie and Jill Barrio and Milton Steve Trites. Field of eight here in race number eight. Here they come. They are off and pacing my Donna, going out for the lead on the outside. Driver Like He's Stolen. And Johnny D firing him up on the outside, going for the lead. Maidana has it on the inside, though. Then racing third on the outside. That's come on, Scoop getting away fourth, Fun Day Bay. Then Don Bryn Master got away racing fifth, so Rosie in sixth. Then it's back to the two trailers, and they are Rita Sealster. And trailing at the backfield, that's Milt and Maidana parking. Driver like he's stolen. And driver like he's stolen now backs off. How's this? 28 and 3. My Donna fired up and a horse off stride around the turn as they make their way. That was Funday Bay on a break. As they make their way to the 3 eighths. And your leader up top and cutting some good fraction here is my Donna. Driver like he's stolen second. Come on, Scoot. Races back in third, then fourth, Don Bryn Master. Racing fifth, so Rosie. Then it's Milt sixth, Rosalie Sealster, Rita Sealster. And trailing the field, Fun Day Bay after the break. 59 and one, halfway home, led by my Donna. Then racing second, driver like he's stolen. Come on, Scoot goes out and takes after the leaders from third. Don Bryn Master fourth, then racing fifth. So Rosie, then it's back to Milt. He's closing up some ground in sixth. Then it's back to Rita Sealster and trailing the field. Fun Day Bay to the three quarters. My Donna still on top by the three quarters. One thirty-one and two, it's my Donna. Driver like he's stolen, come on Scoot. Don Bryn Master on the outside comes to fourth. Up the inside right there as well. That's Milt has some racing room to work with now with an eighth of a mile to go. Down the stretch, my Donna driver like he's stolen. The battle right now is for third, but it's going to be my Donna winning it. My Donna driver like he's stolen, and Milt gets up for third. Time for the mile. 202 and 2. Mile and 202 and 2. My Donna.
Back to the winner's circle, winner of race eight, number one, My Donna. Four-year-old daughter of Matter of Money out of the Big Towner Mayor, Tina Town. I'll make Catherine Bishop of Fredericton. Trained by Mike Campbell, Mike does the driving. My Donna picks up her first win of the campaign and a nice skate to wire trip for her, 202 and a two. And in this race, My Donna has been claimed by Brian Foster. My Donna claimed by Brian Foster. And the starters for the ninth race behind the gate. Approaching the top of the stretch, eyes on you and Todd Trites. Pitbull Hanover, John Davidson, Art of the Millennium, and Joe Burial. Let's tango Lavros and Lonnie Stokes, High Jake's Bank, and Steve Trites. And we have Power Flex, Mark Campbell, Heron Bay, Mark Hag, and Kibo, Sam Hodgen. Field of eight, top of the stretch. GM Masonry sponsored ninth race. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Good start. Eyes on you. Pitbull Hanover. Hi, Jinx Bank. A fired up. On the outside, he's driving up second around the first turn. And your leader, eyes on you. High Jenks Banka has the pocket trip now and is racing second. Pitbull Hanover got away third. Art of the Millennium back in fourth and racing fifth at the cones. Let's tango Lavros. Then it's Power Flex Heron Bay and trailing the field. Kibo and eyes on you. There goes Art of the Millennium on the outside and a huge brush and he goes up to take the lead 29 and 3 opener and art of the millennium just like that is taking the lead eyes on you second high jinx banka back in third then pitbull hanover on the outside he lost the cover as they come off the turn and through the stretch racing to the half and a bit of problems with the pylon as Art of the Millennium has the lead. Then racing second. Eyes on you, Pitbull Hanover. On the inside, High Jenks Banka outside. Driving, let's tango Lavros, 59 and 3. Then it's back to the two trailers. And they are on the outside, Heron Bay. And then trailing the field now at the back of the bus as they straighten into the back stretch. That's Kibo, Art of the Millennium on top and leading by a length and a half. Eyes on you, second. Then way wide, let's tango Lavros comes to third. Pitbull Hanover in between horses. Now High Jinks Banka takes over third or fourth rather then up the inside power flex now fifth three quarters one thirty and three art of the millennium eyes on you and rock and todd he's gonna give it a shot here with an eighth of a mile to go and off stride let's tango lavros with an eighth to go art of the millennium eyes on you is coming to him eyes on you in the outside art of the millennium on the inside tight down to the wire art of the millennium hung on to win it and he wins it in for second eyes on you and power flex and mark campbell with some late pace to finish third, High Jenks Bank up fourth. And the time for the mile, two minutes and two fists. And the winner, Art of the Millennium. Back to the winner's circle, winner of race nine, number three, Art of the Millennium. Ten-year-old gelded son of Art's Place, out of the Cam Fella Mayor, Mount Penn. All by Mike Morris, Mike Clinton, Scott Hubbard, trained by Mike Morris. Joe Barrio in the driver's seat, Art of the Millennium. Picks up win eight of the season from 21 starts. And returns a winner and career win, number 47. For this veteran pacer, he's won 47 starts in his career, closing in on 50. And he wins the GNM Masonry Pace tonight. The mile in two minutes and a two fists. Art of the Millennium takes the ninth. And again, a big thank you to our sponsor, GNM Masonry. For top class of the night. Behind the gate, Bear Island Tyler on the inside and Stephen Trites. Then we have Melody's boy, Gord Hennessy. Magnetic Banka, Lonnie Stokes. Dance Hanover, Jill Burial. Woodmere Quick Peak, Al Jones. Quality of Money, Owen Davies. Rookies Raisin. And uh, Todd Trites. 
Off stride, Bear Island Tyler before the start. They're off and pacing and Dance Hanover going out for the lead. Melody's Boy on the inside going with them around the first turn. They're neck and neck for the lead. Melody's Boy, Dance Hanover. Then Woodmere Quick Peak right behind him on the outside. He's giving chase as Dance Hanover takes over, but he's going to have instant pressure in the form of Woodmere Quick Peak on the outside going for it. Then Melody's Boy keeps the hole filled right there in the third. Then racing fourth, Magnetic Banka. Rookies Raisin liking this pace, sitting back in fifth quality of money and then far back Bear Island Tyler off stride again how about it 28 and 2 opener and Dance Hanover hanging out Woodmere Quick Peak then back in third at the pylons Melody's Boy then fourth Magnetic Banker here comes Rookies Raisin and this race playing into his hands perfectly as they approach the half Dance Hanover then racing second outside Woodmere Quick Peak Inside Melody's Boy. They were by the half. Check it out. 57 and 2 around the turn. Dance Hanover on the lead. 57 and 2 half. Racing second, Melody's Boy, then Rookie's Raisin. There he goes, tipping out three wide from fourth and going on. Now third and giving chase, Dance Hanover. And Barrio going to work on the handsome son of Estreos. He's got Rookie's Raisin, though, coming to call second. But Dance Hanover still with a four-length lead. Three quarters, one, 27 and four around the turn. Dance Hanover, Rookie's Raisin on the outside. Then right there, third. Third back about seven lengths. Magnetic Banka looks for racing room. Two horse race from here on out. Dance Hanover rookies raising second. Then Magnetic Banka on for third. But Dance Hanover found another gear tonight. And what a monster trip. Dance Hanover rookies raising Magnetic Banka. And the mile for Dance Hanover. 157 and 1. Dance Hanover, a super trip, 157 and 1. With the winner of race number 10, his third driving win of the night, driver Gilles Barrio aboard number 4, Dance Hanover. Dance Hanover, a four year old gelded son of Estreos, out of the top notch, your mare, drop your rigging. All by the ultimate stable, trained and driven by Gilles Barrio. And Dance Hanover steps to his seventh win this season. And when you look at his lines for consistency, 19 out of 21 in the top three. Dance Hanover having a great season, over 12,000 or a little over 11,000 in the bank now for Dance Hanover on the season. So he wins 157 and 1. The scratch of eight, Friendly Fred. We have Long Worth Legacy and Charlie Price. Gracious goodness with a claim entered and Mark Hag. Fidi Erlos, Mark Campbell. Charlotte's Monty, Jill Barriel. Then we have Bell Scooter, Todd Trites. Consider me lucky, Wayne Watson. Island Zap, Gord Hennessy. Lockload Fire, the trailing entry, and John Davidson. Seven across the gate, one trailing entry here in the third elimination of the Brian Moore Memorial Claiming Series. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and a good start for Fidi Erlos on the inside. Longworth Legacy goes for it and takes it around the turn. Longworth Legacy, then racing second, Fidi Erlos, then getting away third. Nicely from the trailing spot, that's Lock Load Fire on the outside. Then racing to the outside, Gracious Goodness parked and forced to go on. Then Charlotte's Monty on the outside, consider me lucky. She's got a press the issue, and she has cover to work with, though. And Price has the lead, and even 32nd quarter. And on the outside now, Gracious Goodness has taken the lead. Longworth Legacy is racing in second. Feedy Airless is a racing third. Consider me lucky. On the outside, fourth. Then Lockload Fire sits fifth. Charlotte's Monty on the move on the outside from sixth. Then it's Trites back in seventh with Bell Scooter and trailing the field. Halfway home, Island Zap. Gracious goodness, took him halfway home. 
Longworth Legacy second, 58 and three. And the Hagler taking no prisoners here, 58 and three halfway home. Then racing second, Price Reptite with Longworth Legacy. Then back third, Consider Me Lucky, Feedy Airless. There goes Charlotte's Monty on the outside. And he's driving up quickly now, fourth and going on. He looks to have the most pace of all of them. Can he catch them here? Gracious goodness. Then Longworth Legacy out to challenge. Three quarters, 130 flat around the turn. Gracious goodness. Then racing second outside. Here comes Longworth Legacy. Charlotte's Monty on the outside coming up from third. Then fourth right there as well. Consider me lucky. An eighth of a mile to go. And this is gracious goodness. Longworth Legacy. Charlotte's Monty. On the outside, third, consider me lucky, fourth, but it's going to be in price, Longworth Legacy. Gracious goodness, Charlotte's Monty gets third. Then consider me lucky, fourth. And the time for the mile, 2.02 and 1. The mile, 2.02 and 1. Back to the winner's circle, the winner of race number 11, third elimination tonight of the Brian Moore Memorial Claiming Series. And it's one Longworth Legacy, a six-year-old son of Arcane Hanover out of the Herod's Mare, Esker Misty Day, owned by Audreen Matheson of Charlottetown. Charlie does the training and the driving. And Charlie's fan club going wild here in front of the judges' stand. And Charlie, the price is right, captures the 11th with Longworth Legacy. 202 and 1.